It's crazy to think that five years ago, the final Twilight movie released in theaters. And man, has Robert Pattinson come a long way since that final Twilight movie. Wow. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Good Time. So Good Time is directed by the Sedfi brothers and the film stars Robert Pattinson and Benny Sedfi. The film is about this bank robber played by Robert Pattinson who gets his disabled brother involved in a bank heist. And let's just say Robert Pattinson's brother, he gets into jail and now Robert Pattinson is stuck in a situation where he has to try to get the money so he could break his brother out of jail. Now, similar to Brigsby Bear, this is another film where I'm gonna have to be as vague as possible. I was really, really looking forward to this film. Like, wow, the first trailer, not the second trailer. The second trailer does not do the movie justice. The first ever trailer for this film is what actually got me hooked. I thought the style of it, the music, the editing, and that first trailer for Good Time was pretty unbelievable. And of course, it's really cool to see how much Robert Pattinson has been really furthering his career after the Twilight franchise. Since then, he's been doing The Rover, a really great film with a great performance by Robert Pattinson and Guy Pearce. Maps to the Stars, however, I think is one of the worst movies of the decade. With that being said, Robert Pattinson is still good for what he had in that film. He was really great for what he had in The Lost City of Z earlier this year. I actually did get around to watching that film very recently. And in good time, because he's been really expanding his roles, I really wanted to see what he could do with this film. And not just for Robert Pattinson, but I also just wanted to see how the storyline would go down. And good time? What can I say? I had a good time watching this film. Yes, you could throw the pitchforks at me for making that dumb pun. So what makes Good Time such a very interesting film is honestly the storyline itself. I really can't go into too much details with the overall storyline because the trailers do a good job of keeping a lot of things secretive. Like they don't reveal any major plot details. All I could say for the storyline is it's very well written. The dialogue is written very well. The amount of intensity that is added to the script, the adrenaline rush you get from this movie because of how well realized the script is and how funny this film surprisingly is at times. I was not expecting this film to have some comedy to it, but Without spoiling anything, there was actually quite a bit of humor in this film that actually had me laughing pretty hard. So the way Ronald Bronstein and Josh Sadfee wrote this script, I honestly have to give them a lot of credit. They go into places you don't expect them to go. This is definitely a film where I'm constantly thinking it's going to go in this direction and nope, it goes into another direction and that's just because of how brilliant the writing is. This film truly does have brilliant writing to really keep the overall pace of the film going. Robert Pattinson, in particular, is incredible. This might be the best I've seen him. Robert Pattinson truly, truly shows the amount of range he has as an actor. He's definitely past his Twilight days, cause wow, this guy really he really brings a lot to the screen. He is so believable. The accent he uses too is actually very believable. And every single scene, he owns it. And Benny Sadfi, I have to say, he did a really great job. I thought he was really great with his line delivery and the emotion he was able to convey with this character, similar to Robert Pattinson. The amount of facial expressions Robert Pattinson made in his performance was truly believable. And that's the same thing with Benny Sadfi. Every single facial expression he brings to his character was truly uh, terrific. And Jennifer Jason Lee, although not in this film that much, I thought 
thought she was really good for what she was given. And everyone else in this film, I thought they did a really great job. Benny Sadfi and Josh Sadfi, the Sadfi brothers, do a terrific job directing this film. Good Time, as far as direction goes, is probably one of the best directed movies of 2017 because their style is very energetic. They bring so much fuel to their direction. You just feel so much anxiety watching Good Time because most of the movie is non-stop tension. It's non-stop excitement. The first 10 minutes of this film in particular, wow, already in the first 10 minutes, you felt like you were in this adrenaline rush and for the majority of the movie that adrenaline rush continues. Robert Pattinson's character, you could tell he's doing certain things because yes he loves his brother so much and he's obviously willing to do anything to get his brother out of jail but man the stuff that this guy is doing you're just going wow man wow that is dirty like it's understandable why he's doing some of this dirty stuff but oh my god the cinematography too is some of the best i've seen this year because wow this is a very well shot movie this is a very colorful movie this is a very stylistic movie and the way the cinematography is shot every single shot in this film was honestly shot masterfully. And what's really impressive about Good Time is that not only did Benny Sadfi act in this film, not only did he direct this film, but he also actually made the score for this film. Like in the opening credits of this film, when it said original score by Benny Sadfi and I believe someone else too, I was actually very impressed. My God, the score really did fit the overall atmosphere of Good Time. It's very loud. This is actually one of the loudest scores I've heard in a while for a film. The way it plays for the duration of the film honestly really impressed me. So a lot of credit to Benny for not only acting and directing this film, but just putting the score together. This is one of the best scores I've honestly heard this year. Just wow. Now as far as problems do go with Good Time, like I said, for the most part, this was pretty much a non-stop adrenaline rush of a movie. But there is this portion in the middle section where the movie does take a break. And while that's not a bad thing, it did kind of take me on the moment because from the opening scene, this movie already starts to get crazy. So this movie just gets crazier and crazier than stop. It just stops for a while. And then, after a point, that's when the movie goes back to being non-stop, but it's really in that middle portion where that high tension does stop. And I did start to feel the pacing just a little bit when we got to that middle section. I wasn't particularly bored with the middle section, but I did start to feel the pacing just a little bit when we got to that point. Jennifer Jason Leigh, as good as she was in this film, I thought she was honestly very underused. I wish we actually got to see more of her character you really don't see her for that long and I wish that they got to use her character more I feel like her character could have served more purpose for the storyline if they used her but the fact that they really didn't use her all that often the film is quite a bummer and as we are getting towards the ending of the movie there are character arcs that do end quite abruptly here's a character going through the arc and then boom it just abruptly ends out of nowhere and speaking of that the ending itself while it was a really good ending it was abrupt out of nowhere the end credits just start to scroll up and you're like Hmm. And for my final problem with the film, there is this kissing scene that 
I did not think was necessary. Now, sure, can I understand why they may have had to go there? Maybe, but I just don't think it was very necessary for them to go in that direction. Overall, I thought Good Time was a very solid movie. It's a good film. I honestly did have a good time watching this movie. Robert Pattinson and Benny Sad feed they give outstanding performances really strong performances everyone else is really great too but those two really stand out the cinematography is very beautifully shot the score sounds remarkable the direction by the Satfi brothers is terrific they direct the hell out of this film it's a very well crafted film and I'm gonna give good time three out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about good time this is 20 tiger dude here and don't forget that I will always have tiger power the Bureau from love the damned always act from love